today we will see degradation of penicillin ok so there would be 5 methods for degradation of penicillin we will see method 1 so we have known the structure of penicillin so what are all present in penicillin beta lactam nucleus and that is fused with the thiazolidin ring now here methanol would be taken for degradation so by means of methanol what happens the bond between carbon and nitrogen that would be broken so with the nitrogen H would be added and with the carbonyl that is CO O CH3 would be added so what you are getting so next step we are getting here this carbon is connected this carbon with O O CH3 so CO O CH3 here and here NH so that is called as methyl penicilloate so instead of R we have a benzyl mean benzyl means that is called as penic penicilloate here methyl is attached so me, uh, attached to form an ester that is why it is called methyl penicilloate so how we are getting methyl penicilloate penicillin on reaction with the methanol what happens the bond between carbon and nitrogen would be broken so with the nitrogen H would be added and with the carbon O C H would be added and we are getting methyl penicilloate ok now this one on hydrolysis what happens here there may be cleavage here what happens the bond between carbon and nitrogen that would be broken and bond between carbon and sulfur would be broken so water no so in that water one H is added with sulfur one H is added with the NH and one oxygen only one oxygen is there no that is added with the CH present here so um, what you are getting RCONH here CH COO CH3 here already we have no CH is present here so CH with O CHO so this is one product and next one is SH C CH3 CH3 CH COOH NH2 this is next one so this is called as methyl penaldate and next one is penicillamine so in method 1 what you are getting by means of methanol we are first we are getting methyl penicilloate and this one further hydrolysis what you are getting methyl penaldate and penicillamine now we will see method 2 so in the second step we are using ph4 so uh, actually what happens here there may be shifting of hydrogen from two places okay here we have hydrogen with the nitrogen no this hydrogen is shifted from nitrogen to sulfur in this portion hydrogen is present actually ch is present here so this hydrogen is shifted from this carbon to nitrogen so that's all so what is the difference here two hydrogen should be changing their portions okay so higher hydrogen present in the nitrogen that is moved from here to sulfur hydrogen present in the carbon no that is moved from here to this nitrogen and there may be cleavage between carbon and sulfur and carbon and nitrogen so what you are getting so we are getting this ring so how we are getting the ring here we have rcon not h because h is moving to sulfur so rcon that is rcon so we have that now here h is not there only c c c double bond do. so this is that c and this double bond do. and we have so what happens here um, so here we have CH this CH CH is connected to NH so the CH NH and with the NH what is attached CH so CH COOH and here that is connected with C two molecules of CH3 and with SH that's all so this is called as penicillinic acid and this is an unstable one so here um, it, it undergoes hydrolysis on hydrolysis what happened this ring is called as oxazole ring with the ketone it is called as oxazolone so this oxazolone undergoes hydrolysis on hydrolysis what happens here H is added with the nitrogen and OH is added with the ketone so what you are getting RCONH that is RCONH and here we have C this C with already CO here OH is added with that so C COOH C COOH and same double bond the left group is same so now next with the double bond the same group is attached here this is called as pinamaldic acid this is also an unstable one so again on hydrolysis what happens the double bond would be converted cleaved and that should be converted to single bond and here there may be cleavage ok so HOH I mean H is added with the carbon and this O is added with CH and H is added with the nitrogen so what you are getting RCONH CHCOOH CHO this is one compound and this NH2 CHCOOH C CH3 CH3 SS this is one compound so this compound first compound is called as penaldic acid and this one is penicillamine we have known that and on decarboxylation what happens the carbon dioxide would be removed what you are getting RCONH CH one more H is there no so it is converted to CH2 
CHO that is called as penicillaldehyde. So in method 2 we are getting penicillaldehyde and penicillamine. Now we will see method 3. So in the third method same as that of first one. So here we are, um, we are going for hydrolysis by means of sodium hydroxide or penicillinase. What happens? The bond between carbon and nitrogen that should be broken with the nitrogen H is added and with the carbon OH is added same as methanol. Okay. So what you are getting? So here NH here COOH this is called penicilloic acid. Instead of R we have benzylamine that is called penicilloic acid. On decarboxylation what happens this carbon dioxide would be removed the H is added with CH that is why it is converted to CH2. So only one change R C O N H CH2. So this is called as penicilloic acid. Again on hydrolysis what happens the bond between carbon and nitrogen would be broken bond between carbon and sulphur would be broken. So with the carbon O is added and with the nitrogen and sulphur. So with these two H should be added. So we are getting R C O N H C H 2 C H O. So this is one compound the left no S H C H C H 3 C H 3 C H C O H N H 2 that is another compound. This is called penicillaldehyde and another one is penicillamine. Now we will see the fourth one. So what is the fourth one? So here by means of strong acid what happens? It is going I mean a strong acid here water would be added on hydrolysis what happens? H is added with the sulphur and one more H is added with nitrogen and oxygen is added with the carbon. So there may be cleavage like this. Okay. So what you are getting? RCONH here CH2 CHO this is one compound another one is SH C CH3 CH3. Um, C C O O H N S two that is another compound same penicillaldehyde and penicillamine and the last one is same we have taken um, penicillin by means of dilute acid or P H two what happens here it is a four membered ring beta lactam is a four membered ring by taking nitrogen that should be converted to five membered ring and what happens this oxygen is combining with the carb carbonyl group so C O O and this H that would be converted to C O O H and that is connected with the nitrogen. Uh, I am mean connected with the carbon next to the nitrogen. So here CO which should be added and this R is connected with, with this carbon. So that is why you are getting penilic acid. So what are the degraded products we are getting? In method 1 we got methyl penaldate and penicillamine. In method 2 we got penicillaldehyde and penicillamine. In method 3 we got penicillaldehyde and penicillamine. Fourth one also we are getting penicillaldehyde and penicillamine. And last one we are getting penilic acid. Okay. So um, the reason now we will see the reason for degradation. Actually, beta lactam that is also a lactam. While well, comparing with the linear amide or larger amide, this is easily hydrolyzed. Why it is easily hydrolyzed? Because of the ring strain. And not only that, it is fused with the thiazolidin ring. That is why the ring strain would be increased. So that is why it would be easily hydrolyzed or de uh, degraded or no, degraded okay and it is also influ influenced by ph or nucleophiles that's all